Hey guys, and welcome back to more Knights of Pen and Paper. We're gonna finally complete our quest to go to Big Town and head out of the Deep Forest. So this requires two um, moves, so it'll be another 10 gold. So, actually, while we're here, of eight total. There is a lot of stuff you can get from investigating, but currently we don't have the money because like I said, we want to invest in our last character. So, Oh, and I wanted to use this Warhammer. It only is plus two damage, but it has threat and... Is it two-handed? Oh, it's even one-handed, so... Actually, we'll exit out of here just so I can see, because if I... This, it does increase my threat percentage by 1%, so I think that is better to have the additional threat. But yeah, the big thing is it it adds stun as a effect. So that's very good, and I don't think either of these guys. Yeah, because I don't want weapons that increase their threat. So it's so actually the tavern. The tavern is where you can switch out characters, which is what I thought. So, if you want to add a new character or switch out characters that you didn't want, you can in a tavern, but they'll all be similar levels. So, you can also create um, more powerful weapons and items by using um, different items, which is quite cool. So, the crafting is actually pretty neat. Equipment A enchantment, charm, powder rock. We'll get a random charm. Beverage, power shake, magic staff, crystal ball wand, and the staff. Three magic, 15 energy stun, spell damage plus three. So that's something we can look at. Wand, crystal ball. You buy crystal ball here? Because that's very powerful. Nope, I'm not sure where you get a crystal ball. I have to figure out where you get a crystal ball. Because that's definitely worth getting. So, what other crafting things are there? I don't know what rage does. It doesn't seem to tell me. Does it say in the... in here what Rage does? Oh, sorry, does it say that's based on... But sorry. Okay, they're all mine rolls, so we're gonna ask you a lot better chance. Just wondering... no. Character sheet... That's well, not rage does, but rage. Okay. I don't know why rage would be good then. Yeah, I don't see why. I guess it's just to get the additional critical spiked ring. Loincloth and Purge. Yeah, Critical Threat, Damage, and Initiative. So, I don't think we can buy a Spiked Ring, but we might be able to. Dragon Mint, Dragon Statue. Dragon Statue is ridiculous. I don't know why you'd ever get rid of that. Because, like, that's way worse. Evan Paul's Blue Diet, Energy Elixir, Energy Potion. So yeah, I guess we can check for a spiked ring. Yeah, this is better because you get the... It's decreased damage, but a threat and an initiative and a crit. So... They're worth... and we're worth... Just using the recipe to get a random charm, I think. Yes, because make it the crystal ball. For making magic weapons, shields, and armor. I 
Hmm. That's useful. We could buy an enchanting scroll. I'm not sure if we want to. Because we don't really have any equipment that's ridiculously good. I see, we could. Yeah, we could actually do that. How much is it for the enchant scroll? 50 gold. Hmm. Now, I'd rather save up. You can also buy mushrooms that give you experience. Phoenix Downs allow you to resurrect party members. Which actually would be good later on when resurrecting party member becomes more expensive. Ooh, that's good as well. Oh, we can get the spiked ring. At the moment though, I think we're actually better. Actually, no, I think it was very better off just combining them. I think you get better stuff from combining them. Yeah, I'll buy the spike ring and we'll do that combination. The bow tie reduces the threat actually quite nicely. So. So. Oh, I'll have to unequip them. Okay, I'll move our purse and our loincloth. Now we can make the color of agitation. Cost us five gold to craft it, but that will definitely be very powerful. So, initiative, threat, and damage. Quite happy with that. I think we can possibly just sell the rest of the stuff. I guess I'll hold on to the daggers just in case we need them. No point having to buy equipment for a character. Yeah, I just don't see the bow as being that good because it doesn't have a damage bonus. So. Quest complete. So. Slay monsters and gain more experience for the papery clue. Yeah, we're a good level for that. Arrive in a big and busy town. Holy moly, when you said big. Town, I expect something just slightly bigger than a village. All of a sudden, you glimpse a familiar figure in the crowd. Hello, villagers. I hear that you mean to stop me. Paper Knight, stop what you're doing and stop ruining paper us. Ha, <sighs> never. Too bad I don't have time for small talk. You first editioners can't see the scroll, but you will soon see what it summons. Kill three foul bearers or one or more quests. Yeah, we'll, we'll do three foul bears in one quest. At the beginning of each one, there's a fair threat to a thief to join the battle. Ooh. But we gotta backstab it. Ooh, those guys are tough, actually. Almost strike them. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just have them attack. I'm gonna try to burn the bears. Ooh, it's super effective. Keep smacking these foul bears. And they're foul bears because they're foul, like chickens, as well as being bears. Um, I guess we'll just heal everybody a little bit. Fight the foul bear. They're taking damage from their. That. Ooh, and we got. Uh, thief has joined the battle. Quite easy to take out, but a little bit of a annoyance. Um, may as well tr give this shot to try to stun it. See that burn is just nice, just continuous damage. <laughs> However, this rule is an annoyance. So, but you can continue to deal with it without too much difficulty. Foul bear is being defeated. Now if we can s succeed in stunning them, we can just lock them out. <laughs> However, thieves just keep appearing. I think we probably do get experience from defeating these thieves, so... It wouldn't be too bad. We might want to actually... 
um, have him just rest here so that um, we can get enough, continue to get enough stuff, that's perfect. Yeah, 2340 XP. It's a pretty good amount of XP. I think we just want to go with more stealth for more criticals. So. After the dust settles, you notice a torn piece of map on the ground. Probably something permanently dropped by accident. Sounds like a trap. No idea what this map is of. Maybe we should ask a cartographer. Sounds reasonable. 12 gold and 765 experience. So, uh, we're still a good level for this. Cross marks the spot. Okay, we're looking for a target first spot. I remember hearing about this good one, Al Idris. Don't want to you see a lot of pe peculiar little shops. But not the one you're looking for. Come to a dust busy marketplace with dozens of fruit and fish sellers. You hear loud chirps and suddenly notice that the common folk have left the marketplace. I have bad feeling about this. A group of cooks seem very interested in the map you're carrying. Maybe you want to give it to them. That's already lead to the paper knight. We need to protect it. Oh yeah, these are thieves. Very easy to defeat. Yeah. So, quickly burn all the enemies. Um, may as well just purge. Heal everybody a little bit. Actually, would it be better to rest with him than purge? Um, yeah. But no, that is true. We are better to rest with him than to do anything else. But. Um, yeah, may as well rest just to get my mage back up because I'm worried the, the mage is going to die. So, <laughs> that's actually additional healing that I never thought about before, so. Perfect! 936 experience. Plus the quantity bonus. Man, we're being attacked again instantly. Terrific cooperation. Um, well, looks like we need to defeat the ooze first. Yeah, so good. Ooh. Definitely want to heal yourself. Um, yeah, see if we can frostbite the ooze. Super effective. It is stunned. Oh, actually, I don't need a palmal strike because it's already right there. Um, get him up. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because I want to light everybody on fire. Not quite as super effective, but I can always pommel strike him for the stun as well. So just start getting stuff on fire. We'll do a little bit of extra damage. Um, yeah, as long as we're defending, we're gaining a little bit of health back. Because then I can also actually no, let's just heal him back up to full. I'm not as worried about the warrior. Just mostly about. The wizard got another stun. Finish him off. They're still still receiving damage. Man, they really like to attack my wizard. And that's not very nice of them. Perfect. Um purge, sure. Give everybody fill everybody back up. Stun go for the stun, we got the stun. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Double stun. We're just rocking here. So that's him defeated. Him defeated. Rather, her defeated, I guess. And complete. We even got a carrot. So. Levels up. This can be another energy per turn. It does not. But the following turn will. But we'll also get more powerful burn. Is that worth it? Yeah, I think so. We're spreading our things between two abilities, but both abilities are good in their own situations, so. So, yeah, it can increase damage percent, but I just like increasing the threat because we just n continuously need more threat. As much as I'd like to increase the damage of Pommel Strike, um, just two response day is too good. 
for increasing our threat. Um, yeah. The fine judgment isn't worth it because you have to keep investing in it to get more damage and it's just not going to get there, I don't feel, as quickly as at least my other stuff. Um, no, I definitely need to upgrade my restoration. So we're at 39 health. It's pretty good. Oh shoot! I didn't <laughs> even took off my jumpsuit. Actually, actually no, I don't even need the jumps. Hmm. You have 32 health. Okay, no, she is the best to protect with that. Because it seems he has more threat. I wonder who I want to put the jumpsuit on. Leave it on him for now because it's more important that he lives than the other character. Hello there, what a nice piece of map you have there. I'm a collector of odd maps like to add one to my collection. I know you, traveling craftsman one day, hard for the next. I'm a man of many professions and countless passions. Well, you can have the map if you tell us what it's about. Let's see, this bigger cross is located on the other side of the great wall north of here. Oh, that's tough luck. They use super secure passwords. May I ask who you are? I'm just a poor bandit trying to make a living here. Keep following him in case he finds any treasure maps. And then he threatened to beat up the hardworking citizen. No, no. He's been the most kind to me. He just peeked over my shoulder and copied the maps. Good to hear. And we just need to find the password. <laughs> He's been the most kind to me. That's actually pretty funny. So. Is some stuff, actually. Two clues is actually probably pretty easy to collect because we're up to each party member has to get their own roles, so that makes it even easier. Well, we'll either gets you with a notebook and pencil. We'll take it with the logo of a large corporation. Well, it's, it's an item. Just looking. Yeah. Give it to him. Actually, there's no point in giving all the stuff to my wizard, but I don't have anything else to replace it with at the moment anyway, so. The Shady Tavern. Yeah, I may as well do the Shady Tavern quest. If you want to get the password, you need to check at the tavern. That's the place where information is traded. The kind bandit... Ki the kind bandit points to a clean-looking tavern that has a nice menu. Okay, we enter the tavern, look for the shady figures who sell the secrets of this town. Lunch out. Tavern fills construction workers, happy chatting, fills the room. Are there any shady travelers with weathered cloaks hiding at the corner tables? The only weather cloak you see belongs to a town beggar. If you squint your eyes, he does look a bit shady. Can you spare me some gold? I've got the dessert as not in, isn't included with lunch and costs extra. Only if I have this information about the Great Wall and its secure password. I can give you directions for the password if you are able to help me a bit. You see, I dropped that coin into the sewers. The coin isn't worth much, but it holds great sentimental value. Let's get out of here. I smell of bacon is making me hungry, and I haven't seen a warm meal in weeks. More adventure to do in the sewers. Shibai wants his precious coin back in exchange. He's willing to help us with the password. That's correct. So we're waiting for her. So saddled swords are ready, and the stench of sewers is already in our, my nose. Sewers were locked at the dangerous sewer horse began terrorizing citizens above. Then how are the heroes still able to terrorize anybody? They keep oozing through the barred doors. Right. So how do we gain access to sewers? But they're capable lockers somewhere in this town. You need a sewer key. Fortunately, it's easy to take one. Add a new button for you, craft it. And there, find the recipe for sewer creek. Have to get to the sewer. So, what does it all need? Oh, I just need to buy some glasses. So, that's not bad. Trinkets, glasses, buy. That key's actually not bad. It's like, two critical and two poison is pretty good, actually. Oops, I need to... Hmm. But I guess it's not the be-all, end-all. I thought I had one of those... I guess I used it. I had to buy one of those coin purses then as well. Just thinking if I want a second one of these. Um, yeah. I'm gonna craft a second one of them, because they look pretty good. Because I can give it, uh... Critical Threat Damage Initiative. Yeah. I can 
take off this lead gauntlet and give it to someone else who needs it. Like the thief, I see I don't mind having a little bit more threat. So yeah, crafting, silver key, craft, oop, craft, silver key, craft. Because it gives me an increased ability to poison is mostly what I'm looking at. So, against bosses and stuff. Oop. Oh, it's a weapon! I guess I should have only made one then. <laughs> That's a bit odd. Hmm. Actually, it's still good for him. Because I don't really use his. Um, I use his attack, and the staff is actually not that useful. So. I just assumed. So, is there. Oh, I guess because of the hat I got. Okay, well, that's still good. Yes, we have the key. You know, let's create other items, Cap. Take a look at your known recipes. Head to the sewers. Night rag sewers. Now 50% clear with 35% more monsters. Ooh. So we got ambushed. Ooh, and sanitary as well. Being each round, the party is afflicted with poison too. Oh, we even got a wound on him. That's good. Smack him. Actually, the poison isn't too bad. We just recovered from it, no problem. But. May as well quickly investigate. Oh, man. Thought we would have easily done that. Man, this is getting expensive now. Yeah, see, now I got three. Be fair to turn this wall, but the pushing it's good as new. So, 15 health. Um, yeah, we'll give it to the rogue, actually. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think we'll call this an episode here. We'll be back in the next episode tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Later.